Alright, I can't exactly do anything just yet because I need either two points to put into getting long blades or roll, or three points to get bomb. And even if I wanted to try to work on any of the other sections, like the magic here, I would still require two points to get divine magic ring or stasis, or one-handed heavy weapons. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oof. Gonna have to wait. Oh, what about attributes? Right, level 22, and level 21 to get a talent point. Uh, did we get a quest-related item? Oh yeah, probably the journal, right? Oh well. Um... Alright, looks like his quest disappeared. Got it. I haven't killed four foxes. Huh. And I guess I didn't take care of those guys yet. Okay, well. I'll do those maybe, like, on the side when I'm grinding or whatever. Because those are just, like, little side missions that you can do that don't have any major impact on the story. Alright. Let's go back to our little hub area, I guess. And switch out Vasco for Siora again. Like, something I noticed from when my brother played this, of course, is that he always brought along Kurt. And, like, Kurt actually has the most history with you because he... He's your first companion. He started off with you back in the... beginning. And he also practically helped raise you. He's the guy who, like, trained you how to be... a fighter and everything. So... Alright. Compose my team. Move Vasco. Alright, gotta press X. Nice. I don't think I'll be able to upgrade anything just yet, so we'll travel from here. Nope. Yeah, here we go. I wanna go here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another good thing about this game, Fujime, is that when you. Oh, when you fast travel to other areas, you get, like, this little special camp instead of lo a loading screen where you can, like, upgrade your weapons, you can visit this merchant guy who will have some good stuff. Um, and you can, like, do a bunch of other things. Like, talk to companions and switch around your companions. You know, anything you could do in the cities, you can just do out here. Shouldn't need to buy anything new, because I already bought a nice pistol. Actually, I want to see. Let's uh, look around. Hmm. Kurt's got some more strength and agility, that's cool. And Vasco's accuracy is three, so I could get him a new pistol. If I want to, you know, like, spend money. He only seems to use pistols, though. There's supposed to be another companion who will, like, use any kind of gun, I guess. Alright, let's get him a good... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's just this gun with three different barrels. Like, why would you even want a gun like that? Of course, now it's equipped to me, so I gotta quickly switch it around. Honestly, I should have switched over to Vasco to do that. Alright, and... Okay, I'm still wearing the goldsmith's gloves, because I keep forgetting every now and then that I need to switch them around. Yes, he's got the ivory and steel grip. We can give him the ivory and brass grip, which will increase the physical damage even more. Okay, now... Since he's at the current best gone, let's I can wear until I get endurance too. We'll exit the travel phase. <laughs> okay, actually I'm gonna step away for just a moment. Hmm. Fujime left. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna step away for a moment, get dinner started, and then I'll keep playing. So I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, you're still here. Or maybe you were. It's just that I only see one person here, so I don't know if you 
are still here or not, Fujime. How do I know? <coughs> now then, wait, is that objective marked? I want to make sure... Nope. Um, I haven't found any of those notes. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay. Can we get there from here? Because this looks like an open space. Mm hmm. Looks that way. You have discovered logging expedition. Do not force us to use our weapons. We do not want to shed blood. We want to give life back to the earth. Do you not understand that these woods are sacred? Yeah, right. We showed you to leave. Now go. Gosh, why don't you What's leave him alone? Here, soldier? These islanders want to enter a plot of land that belongs to the congregation. They are denying us access to the glade. We must heal it. Otherwise, this land will die. I am sorry. But we cannot let you enter this area. But we only want to plant some new trees. Bring life back. These people are fanatics, Your Excellency. Several woodcutters died last night. And I'm willing to bet that these savages had a hand in it. You are killing the Earth. So it kills you in return. All of you are cursed. How about you stop you arguing? The Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation on this island. I came to shed light on this affair. You said that some woodcutters died. Aye, they fell sick and died a few hours later. Well, the camp doctor will be able to tell you more about it. You'll find him in the barracks right here. Thank you, soldier. I'll go see him. Please, Your Excellency, you may come in. Do not force us to use our weapons. We do not want Stop to Stop arguing, blood. you people. We want to give life back to the earth. Do you not understand that these woods are sacred? All right, everyone just stop, okay? We'll deal with this problem and everyone will be happy. Hello, doctor. I am the legate of the congregation. I was told about the disputes caused by this camp, and a soldier told me that several woodcutters died recently. Yes. They got sick yesterday afternoon, and a few hours later they were dead. I couldn't do anything except watch them writhing in pain. None of my remedies worked. If seeing corpses doesn't bother you, you can come and see the bodies. They're here. I hope that whatever killed them is not contagious. Oh. Let's see, just These examine poor option. Woodcutters look like they've suffered. This one has a swollen tongue. Blood at the corner of the mouth. Hmm. There are some peculiar red patches on the bodies. His eyes are bloodshot. This man choked to death. Strong smell of ammonia. The entrails must have been perforated. What does that mean? Okay, can you all stop arguing about this shit? Sorry, Kurt. So, what do you think? Do you recognize their disease? They didn't die of disease. They were poisoned. There's no doubt about it. You're probably right. But I've heard these savages talking so much about curses. So I thought it must be a mysterious disease, rather than seeing what was before my eyes. But how could these three men be poisoned? Hmm. I'm not sure. Do their symptoms not point to anything? No. I've never seen such a deadly poison with these symptoms. Have you noticed anyone unusual here? Unusual? No. All right. Did they drink anything in particular? They like to drink their fills in the evening. Life is dreary here. But if the poison was in the alcohol, I'd also be on the pile of corpses. Okay. What did they eat yesterday? Did they eat any mushrooms? No, no, we avoid that kind of thing. 
Uh, we don't know enough about the region's plant life. The congregation provides us with dry produce, otherwise we eat game. Yesterday they butchered a beast brought by the hunters. Hunters? Natives who bring us game regularly in exchange for knickknacks. But they've been restocking us for months. I struggle to believe that they're involved. Well, we'll see what they have to say. Where can I find them? They usually hunt on the edge of the wood that leads to this camp. Hmm. Alright then. Now we know where we're going. We got an investigation little thing there. Not even like particularly a spot to go to. Oof. And with these weird invisible walls. Okay, so we're in here. Okay, I guess we are gonna fight. I wasn't sure. Shot you right in the ass. And I stabbed you a couple of times. This is our prey, Renaixi. How can we earn our reward if you hunt our prey? Uh, we were looking for you. Point. Us? What do you want from us? Three woodcutters were poisoned yesterday after eating what you brought them. Poison? I swear we are not responsible for this. Listen. All the clues lead to you, but it may simply have been an accident. How about you tell me exactly what happened? It wasn't really an accident, but we did not want to kill them either. Then tell me how it happened. We did <laughs> not decide to do this. We were trading beautiful things with the camp, but the Elder said that we would be traitors to our clan if we let the woodcutters cut down all the trees. Which elder? One of the old men from the Gigidor, our village. He is very angry because we cannot heal the glade. He gave us the meat of an andrig killed by a venomous docentat. Its flesh is perfectly edible when prepared with certain berries, but without them, eating it would be lethal. And since the Renaixe invaded our forest, these berries are nowhere to be found. He wanted it to be a lesson for them, so that they may understand that their destruction brings death. I will not hold you responsible, but from now on you will no longer bring meat to this camp. You are the instruments of a hateful old man's vengeance, and I am under the impression that there will be even more deaths if I do not get to the root of this problem. <laughs> The Vagigido Elder thought it best to take vengeance into his own hands. I understand his anger, but Dunkus would not approve of this. He would say that bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed, and he wouldn't be wrong. This whole thing could turn into an open war. We cannot let that happen. Sir de Corsignon mm -hmm. will be able to give some advice on how to solve this property conflict, without violence. Alright. Of course, going back straight to the place could also lead to um, me getting into a conversation with, uh, hmm? oh, camp area. Could lead to me getting into a conversation with um, Constantine, which I don't necessarily want to do just yet because I want to visit both places in order to get all the information needed. What are we dealing with? Much easier to damage them with pistols from far away. Of course, I shouldn't use up all my ammo. Did I sit down? Be careful. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. 
Oh crap! Oh crap! 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 Tastic! Gosh damn! Can't exactly heal myself if I'm being attacked. What was the last save? All right, so it's just right here where after I killed the things and talked to the guys. Got it. So that's not too much of an issue. Okay, will you, will you stop? He just jumped right over the trap! Ow! You sons of bitches. Gosh. I have some pretty good weapons. These guys are definitely better in the health department. You guys were sons of bitches. Hmm. Eh? Where are you guys? You guys quest givers or Exile native? Some Renike say around here. That doesn't happen often. Do you want something? You're very isolated here. Why live so far from a village? It's a long story. Matir, will you tell him? When Oi was young, Oi got engaged to a young man. But he wasn't my Minundanem. Oi thought he was, but Oi was wrong. And one day, Oi met the one Oi would love for all my life. As Oi had broken my engagement, we were exiled. So... Our parents came to settle here. They built this house, and we were born. There. Now you know the whole story. Do you <laughs> want to know anything else? Uh, I guess not at the moment. I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. Okay, I have just three random uh, natives living here because they got exiled from their clan, I guess. For doing something that is frowned upon, which makes sense. All right, so that is a camp area. All right, well, don't mind us. Our camp's gonna be here just so that way we have a good fast travel point and everything. I forget. Oh, I know that this old green asher studded armor will come in handy in some places, probably. I can just remember where the green asher spot is. I'll probably get rid of the old serene stuff. You know what, I'll, I'll pack it away. Just because I'm kind of attached to it still. But I just want to, you know, have more room for other stuff, so. I guess there's a way to increase your carry weight. It's either a point or it's a uh, upgrade that you can, like, buy from a store, I'm guessing. I should have asked Trevor that earlier. Maybe I'll do it whenever dinner's ready, because I'll have to let him know. Huh. Dead end from over here. Okay. Huh? Another path this way, then. Let's investigate. Nice. I can still climb. Oh. It's another hut? Or... Maybe it's a tomb? 
I can see it being a tomb, maybe, because there's only three of the people there. The mother and the daughter and the son, but I don't see a father. So maybe that's the father's tomb? I'm only just making no assumptions. I'm not gonna bother investigating too much into this. Did I just walk through the rope? What the hell? I have no idea what truly happened because of all the camera angle being weird. That's the thing, I like this game so far. I really wanted to play it when I saw the trailers and everything, but there are a couple of odd glitches and stuff that happen. Like sometimes you can't just really kill the enemies because for some other reason they glitch. They get caught in stuff. Sometimes the camera has some weird glitches. And then like they're not really glitches, but there are a lot of invisible walls. Which in itself can be pretty annoying. We got two out of four camps. Well, I'm gonna guess that one of these two question marks is a camp, and then that's a camp. Makes sense. Alright, um, I'll keep exploring this place later. What I should do is go back to the one place. No, I want to travel. I don't want to pull up my weapon. Should be this village. I don't think I have anything to upgrade, and I don't think I need to buy any new equipment just yet. So I'm just waiting until it says... It's ready. There we go. It says it's ready. <sighs> it's a good way to play the game with Greedfall, how it just gives you a little option to, uh... Stay at a little, um... Campsite while the next area loads up. Alright, let's see if... Oh, wait, actually, that's right, they asked... They told me to ask the guy for advice. Whoops. I just jumped ahead. Meh! About to drop my controller trying to pick it back up. Alright. Gotta go find the dude. And I hope that I don't get dragged into a cutscene with Constantine. Cause I also gotta like, go by him in his throne room and everything. Howdy, my teacher. Sade Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? Hmm. I have come to find you because I received a complaint from the natives of the village of Vigigador. They want to be able to access a clearing, exploited by our woodcutters, to heal it. To reforest it, I assume. But our men there say that it belongs to them, and are refusing to let the natives enter it. The site was supposedly ceded to them several months ago, but tensions are running high and some men have lost their lives. If we don't intervene, we're heading for a real confrontation. It is very regrettable, and I approve of your desire to appease this conflict. According to what you have told me, if ever there was a contract, it must have been signed under our former governor. You should go to the archives and verify this, then go and talk to Lady Lorraine de Morange. And of course, I'll be delighted to help you once things have been clarified. Thank you, Professor. Once more, you've been of great help. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Hmm. What if I already talked to you about everything here? Maybe. Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsilio. I think dinner also just got done, so... I'm gonna pause, grab that real quick, and then I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright. I grabbed dinner. Just something easy to eat while I'm streaming, so not to deal with that anymore. Let's get going. I was about to say, what the fuck are the people? Vasco's just sti standing there because he's like, I, I want to go do something. Why are you making me wait? Well, one, because Kurt's kind of like my bodyguard, and two, because yours was kind of important since we're dealing with native business. 
All right, we gotta find the documents in the archives first. I overshot it. I thought we were gonna go take care of uh, talking to the lady first, the original governess. Nope, we gotta find the documents first. Minister, so if I can talk to him about Excellency. it. It is always an honor. How may <laughs> I serve you? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. All right, guess I don't need to talk to him. All right, how do we access it then? Wouldn't it make sense to access it here? Guess this is downstairs. There, but you can't actually do anything about it. That's silly. I have no idea what my brother is saying. Oh, there's a third door. Here we go. Stairs to the downstairs. That's a prison cell. Ah, here we go. Following the negotiations between Chief Dunkas and Governor de Morange over lands in the Quenva, I want to say, region, it was hereby decided that the negotiated lands would henceforth be the sole and exclusive property of the merchant congregation for the purpose of carrying out logging activity. Access to this area is now restricted to members of the congregation. Okay. So either A, that was exactly how it was set up, or B, someone set it up like that without the governess's permission. Because she seemed to like want to try to go with peace with the natives as well, so. Alright, now we gotta talk to her. Hello. Hey, dear sir, happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? I need you to enlighten me about the property deed of a glade near Vigigador. The natives want to access this place, which according to them is sacred, and which they would like to heal. But some of our men there are using this deed to deny them access to the area. Tensions are running high, and some people have died. Yes, there was a time when we enacted a lot of contracts. Do you have the document with you? Yes, here it is. Hmm. This session agreement is only signed with a cross on the native side. Well, writing is foreign to them. As is the notion of land ownership. For them, the earth only belongs to itself. If they did not possess these lands, how did they seed them? Well, I doubt they knew what this agreement represented, to be honest. In that case, why make them sign it? When we arrived on the island, we had to ensure our access to certain commodities. We also had to make sure that we had legal ownership of the lands we were occupying. The natives dreamed of possessing some baubles that they didn't know how to craft. It was easy to make them sign agreements that they didn't understand by giving them some. I was a stranger to their philosophy then. I only thought about my city, and I regret it. I'm sure we can fix this mistake. I hope so, Your Excellency. Come, let's find Sir de Corsilion. Can I help you with any other matter? Nope. Let's go find him. My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. Sir de Corsilion, <laughs> oh, it's always a pleasure. Madame, I expect you've come to see me about this regrettable problem concerning a clearing, which my student told me about. Indeed. And I think I may have a solution that will allow us to solve this conflict peacefully. Hmm, I'm listening. I must admit that I established this at a time when the culture and the mentality of the natives was foreign to me. The clan of this village was rather open to our presence. They welcomed us with benevolence. For this reason, I think we should allow them access to these lands. In doing so, we would appease the tensions, and we would also retain ownership of the wood. We would even benefit from such an agreement if the natives reforest this area. 
Then we could exploit it for a longer period of time. I find this decision perfectly viable, and I approve. But several men were killed, and their comrades will seek vengeance if the personal persons responsible do not pay for their crimes. I am convinced that Dunkus, the chief of this clan, never approves such an action. I understand, but I will only write a decree allowing people to go to this clearing, provided the murderer is delivered to us. Thank you, Master. I will inform Dunkus of your decision. <laughs> oh, okay. I was about to take another bite out of a uh, chicken patty, but nope. <laughs> <laughs> We shall continue then until we get another cutscene. Run through everything. Don't fall. <laughs> Pardon. Now we should be able to just travel there from the residence, hopefully. Yep, go to the village. Alright. We can continue on our journey. Good to know. I don't think you have anything worthy of buying, right? Parry broadsword. Hmm. Don't have the funds, anyways. No, I didn't want to do that. Hello, Dunkus. Or Dunkas. I am Dunkas, the Mal and the Doné God of the Yigido. You're very strange for Renaise. Who are you? My name is Desarde. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. You are a Lugayer Blau? Oh, I didn't know there were Onal Manawi amongst them. They may not be so different from us, after all. What brings <laughs> you here, Onal Manawi? All right. At this old man's request, I investigated the conflict that opposes you and my nation regarding the clearing. You will now be able to access it freely to accomplish your rituals or heal the area, and the congregation will keep exploiting the forest. However, there is one condition to this new agreement. You must deliver this man to us because he is responsible for the deaths of several woodcutters. These men died because of their own foolishness. No one else is responsible for their deaths. If they hadn't cut all the ochre berry trees, they would have survived. What does that mean? What are the two of you talking about? Three woodcutters <laughs> died after eating the meat of an andrig after it was killed by a venomous Dawson tat. It's nothing but a terrible coincidence. And if they had eaten the ochre berries... We know that you are responsible for this. The hunters told me everything. How could you do this? You acted more foolishly than an irascible adolescent. Boy, killing these men, you have brought upon us their wrath. And it is only natural that they should ask for justice. Dunkus, mm -hmm. I beg you. I only wanted the Renoixe to understand the value of the trees they were cutting. Bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed. And you know that. I would never have thought you capable of doing something so foolish. If you want to stop the woodcutters taking vengeance into their own hands, you must deliver this man to us. I understand. But I have one condition before we make this agreement. The Lugayer <laughs> Blau fooled us in the past. It is their turn to prove their good faith. What do you want from us? There is a mine in the forest that the congregation has long operated with help from my people. But digging into the mountain has risked it collapsing. We reinforced the earth with wood. We worked with the Lugade Blau to save the mountain and the men. We agreed to <laughs> stop digging and sealed the entrance with a boulder. But some Renaigse came back, and I think they started digging again. And some of my people started going missing. Perhaps because they had seen them break their promise. 
If the mountain collapses and it is your clan's fault, thousands of lives will be lost. And you want me to intervene? You have to stop them. Remind them of their promise. This is the price of my trust. If you do, <laughs> we punish the person responsible for the death of the woodcutters, and all our quarrels will be gone. I'll go to this mine and see what's going on. Is there anything else? Well, may as well ask about other stuff while I'm here. What can you tell me about your clan? We are the Berai Gnodas. The bearers of life blood. We earned this name by bringing the trees and the earth back to life. By restoring balance. There are a lot of Onol Manawi here. It is true. We were already healing the earth before the bond existed. The bond just made us better. Many of us have chosen to follow this path because we are proud of our role amongst our brothers. Our village is home to the largest amount of Donegada, along with maybe Vishkadir. Is there anything else? What do you think of the settlers from the continent? I think they behave like naughty, unruly children. They take <laughs> what they want and break what they own without even understanding what they are doing. But they can learn and grow. And who would kill unruly children for being mischievous? Is there anything else? <laughs> yeah, he speaks wisdom. Because obviously, colonists are going to be silly and do things that seem silly, but there's no reason to kill them over it. Tell me about your village. We used to be nomads. We would go wherever Tia Freddy needed us until we healed the place. But the people of the sea came and hurt this place so much that my people had to stay here for a long time. For so long that they created this village, Vigigido, the place of the healed wound. Is there anything else? Oh, hey, Army of Darkness. <sighs> What's up? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkers. Kwa Awalam Seng. Just gonna take care of the plate real quick because I am done with dinner. Alright. Well, Army of Darkness, I am playing Greedfall, as you can no doubt tell. It's a double A game that pretty much puts you in the role of a colonist. Who's trying to keep the peace between a bunch of factions? You've got, of course, natives. You've got the mercenary faction. You've got a faction of sailors. You've got Spanish inquisitors, pretty much. And you've got an entire nation of scientists. And everyone just wants a piece of each other. Pretty much. So, my role is to stop all that nonsense. All right. Go to this abandoned mine. Let's see where that is. <laughs> Why are you getting triggered by that? I mean, I kind of know stuff, so the situation is a bit more complicated than that. You're not just playing as a colonist. Your character has like a pretty unique backstory. Which I already know about, but of course I'm keeping my mouth shut about it because I don't want to spoil it for whoever watches the stream or whoever watches the playthrough when it eventually goes up on YouTube. But yeah, I already kind of know a lot of stuff about this game because my brother was playing it and I was out here editing videos, watching videos, doing something at the time. So I know of things, but I don't know of everything. <laughs> You're blind to nuance because you're an SJW. Hmm. Gotcha, you only see black and white. Whereas I like to prefer to see shades of gray. Because not everything can be black and white at this point. 
Alright, logging expedition camp. Oh, you only see black and white literally. POCs and whatnot. Hmm. I still only have... <laughs> well, actually, I had 87 coins last time I looked, but now I have 88. Oh. People of color. Got it. That's what POCs means. Gotcha. I don't know why it didn't click. Not everything clicks immediately for some odd reason. Oh, that's the social conversation I was looking for. What is mech streaming tonight? Hey, he's going back to Red Dead Redemption. Okay. Not mech. Start again. How'd I say mech? Whatever. Anyways. 